Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today we're looking at the top 10 free to play browser games to play in 2021. And believe me, these are some really good games that you need to check out. If you guys want more top 10 videos, make sure to subscribe and tell me in the comment section below what my next top 10 should be on. Low spec games, Steam games, more browser games, tell me in the comment section below and I'll heart react some comments. Now before we get into the video, if you want the browser that I use to play all these games with high FPS and low lag, then download Brave Browser for free. Link in the description below. It's by far the best way to reduce lag and earn free money and cryptocurrency while you surf the web and play browser games. So if you guys want to try it out and really, really help support the channel, then make sure to install Brave Browser by clicking the link in the description below. But with that said, guys, let's get straight into the top 10. With Among Us taking the world by storm, it was only time until a free .io browser version came out, and that game is Betrayal.io. The concept for this game is that you're part of a movie called Betrayal, where your task is to act out the roles of the betrayers and the crewmates. The betrayers need to use distractions to kill the crewmates, and of course the crewmates need to complete the task to win. Now obviously the actual concept is straight up Among Us, but all the tasks are different and graphically the game is pretty cool too. This game definitely hits the mark if you want to quickly and easily hop into an Among Us like game, especially if you or your friends don't actually have Among Us on Steam. It's fairly easy to just hop into your browser, type in the link, type in the code and boom everybody's in the match and there's no need to install. So with that said, if you're interested, make sure to go and check it out. Next up, let's talk about Tanky Online, the browser based multiplayer tank game that has gone completely under my radar. Now this game is most definitely the definition of tank based arcade combat. It's super easy to hop straight in, control the tank and blast some enemies away. The controls only require keyboard and the recent port to HTML5 means performance is really solid, making this a great choice for Chromebook users. While the gameplay is relatively simple, the big selection of modes mixes things up, ranging from standard team deathmatch and capture the flag to modes like Juggernaut. The customization is where this game comes into its own though, with turrets and hulls able to be bought and equipped, completely changing up your playstyle. This customization, combined with a relatively simple gameplay, makes Tanky Online the perfect game if you want some quick tank fun in the browser. Powerline.io is the latest addition to the 2D.io game trend, and this time it's a snake-like multiplayer game. While the concept is simple, it works really well. You start off small, and you need to eat the neon cubes left behind by enemy snakes, which increases your length. You die if you hit your own tail or an enemy's, so you can use that tactic to box enemies in so they have nowhere else to go, they hit your tail, and then you can go and increase in length. Now while it is just Snake, it's Snake in the multiplayer format. Things get wild really really quickly and it's actually a lot of fun trying to outthink your opponents to make a mistake. And when they start making mistakes and you start getting kills and the combos start going through, it feels really really cool. It's super easy to get into a game and there's a mobile app too if you want to play it on your phone. Overall, Powerline isn't the most original concept, but the execution is really decent and definitely good enough to go and give it a try. Now guys, if you're enjoying this video and you want to see more content on free to play and browser games, make sure to go and subscribe to the channel right now. Only 16% of you guys are subscribed, so make sure to hit that sub button right now so you don't miss out on any new top 10 videos. Minecraft has had a massive revival over the past year, with millions of people playing each month and for good reason. The block based survival game is amazing fun. But Minecraft has been out for over 10 years and a lot has changed in that time. So if you want to get a dose of Minecraft nostalgia, then Minecraft Classic is the perfect choice. And it's also on the browser. Running the original 2009 version, Minecraft Classic gives you the original 32 blocks to build with, the original interface and all the technical quirks and glitches too. While it's most definitely rough around the edges, it still has the core cool building that everybody loves, and on top of that, this version is multiplayer, so you can start a session up and invite your friends for a simple link. While it might not be the full version of Minecraft, Classic is still a great version if you want part of the Minecraft experience in the browser. 
Next up, we have Raidland, a third-person class-based PvP action game that forges a new path in the browser gaming scene for its fast-paced ranged and melee combat. Hopping in game is easy. One click of the play button and you'll be dropped into a match where you choose from one of three classes, the Hunter, Warrior or Berserker, all of which are very different to play with. Now talking about the gameplay itself, Raidland takes a more arcadey route in comparison to games like For Honor and as such, with simple attacks and abilities meaning anybody can hop in game and have some fun. However, each class requires some skill to really get the most out of them, which feels awesome when you pull off a huge sequence of kills. Furthermore, if you decide to create an account, you can level up each class, earn gold rewards and unlock perks, allowing you to customize your build on the fly in-game so you can respond to what your opponents are picking. While Raidland is a relatively new game, it has solid gameplay and a great base to continue developing off, and I can't wait to see where it goes in the future. Link is below if you're interested. One of the most impressive browser games I've ever played is CS Online Club, a complete browser port of the classic Counter-Strike 1.6 that requires no installation. While the UI does take some creative inspiration, gameplay-wise Online Club is almost identical to Counter-Strike 1.6 which blows my mind. This game is perfect if you want a quick CS session with your friends, as sending a link to the match allows anybody to easily hop in and play. There's also some fairly in-depth setting customization if the default settings don't work for you, meaning that basically any computer, even Chromebooks, should be able to play this game. Please note though that the first time loading into each map will take a while as the assets do need to be downloaded, but as soon as it's been downloaded, you're good to just hop in every single time. Now overall, CS Online Club isn't Counter-Strike Global Offensive, but it still faithfully replicates the Counter-Strike 1.6 experience in the browser, and for that, this game is definitely worth a try. Next up, we've got Hordes.io, a browser-based MMORPG that has been taken over the .io scene and for good reason. It's free to play, super easy to run, and has a ton of players. Now, browser-based MMOs are a bit hit and miss, but Hordes is definitely a hit. Its base gameplay is straightforward, but has a ton of depth once you really get into it. Now, Horde starts out with you choosing one of four classes, Warrior, Mage, Shaman or Archer, and then a Faction, Bloodlust or Vanguard. You then get put straight into the world and quickly learn how to level up and fight monsters, along with unlocking new spells and getting loot. The joy of this game is that you can quickly hop into a party, kill some monsters and maybe do a little bit of PvP. It's fun and fast. But on the other hand, you can also sink a large amount of time to upgrade your character and become the best on the battlefield. So there's something for everyone, and with the browser format, it's super easy to just hop in, hop off, whenever you like. Furthermore, Hordes continues to receive regular updates and content-packed patches, and is a testament to how high quality this game is, not only as a browser title, but also compared to many MMO games out there right now. Merc Zone is a fantastic and simple browser first person shooter, stripping things back to the basics and doing them really, really well. Gameplay wise, Merc Zone is super fun. Shooting and movement mechanics feel really solid, with every shot having some real weight behind them, making this feel like a true shooter. In terms of the classes, the game is simple. Choose from one of five widely different classes, including your basic assault rifle wielding trigger man, a barrack carrying sniper, a TF2 style minigun user, and more. Add in the limited but well rounded maps, and Merc Zone is just a great first person shooter to play. Now, normally I just quickly mention graphics and visuals, but in Merc Zone, it's such a key element. The maps and characters have a deliberately limited amount of detail, which not only gives it a super hot like aesthetic, but also significantly increases performance. It's a smart tactic and one that makes the game way more accessible, especially to users with not so good PCs. I've been keeping my eye out on Merc Zone for a while, and this game just keeps on getting better and better, so check it out if it's up your alley. Coming in at the number 2 spot, we've got Pokemon Showdown, the browser based game where you can play Pokemon battles online against random people or your friends. Now this game is pretty self explanatory, it takes the intense Pokemon battles from the classic games and puts them in a web format, where you can build your own teams and battle. You can rank up, climb the ladder and eventually play in tournaments to become the best out there. But if you're a bit more casual like me, you can hop straight into a battle without building the team and have some fun. 
Overall, this game is awesome and a massive throwback to the classic Pokemon games of old. While a large amount of Pokemon may be initially intimidating, it's easy for newcomers to hop straight into a match and that's what makes this game perfect for anyone. It's definitely recommended. The honourable mention for today is Infinite Mario Bros, which is a fan-made version of the classic Super Mario Bros made by Minecraft creator Notch. The concept for this game is interesting, as every time you load the game a new random seed is set, which then generates all the areas and level selection, meaning every playthrough is completely unique. Gameplay wise, it's Super Mario Bros through and through, legality wise, who knows, but it's a super cool hidden gem that I only just learned about, so I had to put it on the honourable mention spot. It goes without saying that Crunker.io is by far one of the best browser games out there right now. A fast paced first person shooter featuring a ton of classes, great maps, great modes with incredible movement and shooting mechanics. It's my main game for a reason. Now 2021 is going to be huge for Crunker.io, with a fully fledged Rust-like survival mode coming out and a new Battle Royale mode too. Added in a Steam launch, upgraded anti-cheat and a complete ranked rework and it's obvious there are a lot of big things happening to Crunker very soon. Now with that said guys, if you haven't played Crunker.io before and you want to check it out, make sure to sign up using my link in the description below. It's completely free and it's one of the best ways to support the channel and hey, you get to play an awesome game too. So with that said, with the base gameplay being so solid and the amount of content coming out this year, it makes sense to give Crunker.io the number one spot. 